Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm on the Dexcom care team. I'm here to help you learn more about your Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitoring system. In this video, we're going to discuss how to pair a new transmitter with either your G6 app or your G6 receiver. It's important for you to first understand that your transmitter battery life can last for up to three months. So then how do you know your transmitter will last through your next sensor session? If you haven't received your final 10 day battery warning, you can reuse the transmitter for your next sensor. If the battery has less than 10 days remaining, you will need a new transmitter before starting a new sensor. There are two ways to pair a new transmitter, automatically or manually. To automatically pair a new transmitter from your phone, wait until you receive the pair new transmitter alert and then press pair. To manually pair a new transmitter using your G6 app, stop your sensor within the settings option of your app. Then tap transmitter and then select pair new. You will be prompted to stop your sensor if your current sensor session is still active. To automatically pair a new transmitter from your receiver, wait until you get the pair new transmitter alert and then tap pair new. To manually pair a new transmitter on your receiver, you must first select stop sensor within the main menu. Then navigate back to the main menu and select transmitter and then tap pair new. Still have more questions? Then please visit dexcom.com forward slash FAQs for additional help.